Strap yourself in because we're going to be doing a breakdown of Gordon Ryan, Michael Mesumeki, Adam Rosinski, Levi Jones Leary, and Nicholas Maragali. And in that order, stay tuned. Gordon Ryan breakdown. In this video, we're going to be covering Gordon Ryan's influences, backgrounds, achievements, and more. If you like this kind of stuff, consider subscribing. Gordon Ryan was born in Monroe, New Jersey in 1995. They sometimes call him the king, and by many people, he's considered to be the best Noki competitor in the world right now. Another thing he's very widely known for is trash-talking his competitors. He's a member of the Danaher Death Squad, and he's also a member of Team Henzo Gracie. He received his black belt from Gary Tonin and John Danaher in 2016. So let's cover a little bit of his background now. Gordon Ryan started at the age of 15 training jiu-jitsu and before he even got his blue belt he met Gary Tonin. So the story goes that Gordon Ryan and Gary Tonin eventually became really good friends and they eventually started traveling together to New York to go train with John Danaher. Gordon is 6 foot 2 but his most recent fights were at 222 pounds that's about 100 kilograms. Uh, earlier in his career he used to fight at around 165 pounds but that was before he bulked up. And some of his achievements are first place in ADCC in 2017, IBJJF World No Gi in 2018, IBJJF Pans No Gi 2018. He won his Quintet 3 in 2018. And he's the champion of Eddie Bravo Invitationals for ABI 6, 8, 11, and 14. So he won four EBI competitions altogether. Although Gordon Ryan is proficient in numerous submissions, he tends to win most of his submissions from the back with the rear naked choke. His second most common position to win from is the inside Sunkaku position and of course he's going to win that with the inside heel hook. And of course his leg lock game was largely influenced by John Danaher and the other members of the Danaher Death Squad team. In an interview with MMA Hour, Gordon said that his ultimate goal was always to be the best in MMA and not the best grappler. He says we may not see him in a fight until John Danaher feels that he is at a high level so realistically it should take years. Because when he says high level, he means high level like John Jones high level. To earn money in the meantime, Gordon has released Systematically Attacking the Guard and a No Gi Closed Guard Instructional. It will be interesting to see how Gordon's athletic career continues whether he competes in MMA or No Gi. If you enjoyed this information, consider giving this video a like and subscribing. We'll see you next time. Michael Mesumeki BJJ In this video I will discuss Michael Mesumeki's Jiu Jitsu style, influences and his accomplishments. Be sure to stick around to the end for a short clip of Michael Mesumeki making history. So Michael Mesumeki is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt under Gilbert Burns and Jonatas Gergel. He received this black belt at the age of 18 and now he, at 22 years old he has accumulated many achievements. He trained at Atos American Top Team and is now with Kyle Terrace Association. And throughout his training he would continue to meet with the Mendes brothers which may explain his proficiency in utilizing barambolos and crab rides to take the back. In fact, Guillermo Mendes is the one who awarded Michael his brown belt. Another notable quality of his Jiu Jitsu game is his incorporation of ankle locks which may have had some influence from Kyle Terra. Aside from defeating many of the best Jiu Jitsu practitioners including 10 time world champion Bruno Malfacine, Michael Mesumeki is recognized for completing the fastest submission in IBJJF World's Finals history. He is also the fourth US national to win the IBJJF Worlds in the black belt division. Here's a quick clip of Michael making history. 12 seconds is all it took for him to secure a straight ankle lock. He attained first place in the black belt rooster weight division for the third time in his career. I hope you enjoyed this video and if there is a Jiu Jitsu athlete that you would like me to make a video about then go ahead and let me know in the comment section. 
Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Adam Wozinski Breakdown. In this video, we will cover Adam's influences, background, and style. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Moving forward. Adam received his black belt from Alan Finfo do Nascimento in 2016. Please forgive me if, my, if I mispronounce the name. Adam is one of the most famous European grapplers and they sometimes call him Megatron and this comes from a story that one time he was playing around with this little transformer toy and pretending to shoot people with Megatron. He fights at 208 pounds and that's about 94 kilograms. Some of his achievements are first place UAE JJF Grand Slam Abu Dhabi that's in 2019 and 2018 first place IBJJF Sao Paulo Open first place ACB JJ European Open 2018 and first place ADCC EU Trials in 2018. So he was born in Poland in 1991. So he started out with Aikido at the age of 14. Then later when he was 18 is when he got to start Jiu Jitsu. And when he first started Jiu Jitsu he started training under Karol Matuskak. Again please forgive me if I don't pronounce the name right. So when Adam was a brown belt that's when he began training under Alan Donacimiento. It is thought that Finn Fowl had a huge influence on Adam's butterfly garden. So Adam scores most of his submissions with chokes from the back. He is most known for his butterfly sweeps as reviewed and thoroughly explained by BJJ Scout. Once he executes a butterfly sweep, Adam often ends up in mount or three quarters mount where he will usually advance to full mount. In mount, Adam will often attain a strong head and arm control where he is ready to take the back at any moment that his opponent turns. If his opponent makes the mistake of turning his back, Adam will usually take the back and win with the choke. If you did enjoy this information, please consider subscribing and hit like. And I'll see you next time on the Takedown Breakdown. Levi Jones Leary BJJ Talk <music> Levi Jones Leary was born in Sydney, Australia back in 1997. He started training Jiu Jitsu at the age of 15 and it wasn't until last year in 2018 that he received his black belt from Murillo Santana. He also currently trains at Unity Jiu Jitsu Academy. Some of his accomplishments are first place at IBJJF European Open, first place IBJJF PANS Championship, second place UAE JJF Grand Slam Abu Dhabi. He competes at 168 pounds, that's about 76 kilograms. So when he was 15, he actually first started training MMA, and it was in MMA that he first found his love for Jiu Jitsu. So shortly after that, he started to compete, and as he continued to compete, he started traveling to Los Angeles to train with Cobrina to prepare for his competitions. So even around that time, he was starting to experiment with the Barambolo and he was able to use it and implement it on people. The Meow brothers were a big influence on Levi Jones Leary. He usually uses a Barambolo to take his opponents back. From there, he usually win with the bow and arrow choke. Oftentimes when his opponent stands up, He'll even continue with this bow and arrow choke, bringing his opponent to the ground and finishing it from there. Being a fan of the Meow Brothers, he traveled to New York uh, to join Unity Jiu Jitsu Academy. And it was there that he received his black belt. This year, in one of the most exciting matches, he was able to Baron Bolo Lucas Lepre and take side control, eventually winning that match. So that's all I have in this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a comment and let me know that you like these videos so I can keep doing them. Uh, especially if you have somebody in mind that you would like me to make a video about, 
please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, please hit a like. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe because I'm so close to getting my 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. Nicholas Maragalli Breakdown Nicholas Maragalli received his black belt from Mario Ress and Jefferson Adden in 2016. He is from Rio Grande do Sol and he fights with Team Alliance. And some of his achievements are first place Brazilian National Championship, first place IBJJF World Championship twice. First place CBJJ Brazilian Nationals, third place IBJJF World Championship in 2018, and third place IBJJF Pan American Championship in 2017. He fights at 195 pounds, that's about 94 kilograms. He was born in 1994. He started Jiu Jitsu at the age of 16 after his little brother did. He began his training under Jefferson and Don, and once he decided to get more serious about competing, he started training under Mario Ress. He then won many purple and brown belt titles. He would regularly visit his old school because he was still very loyal to Jefferson. He is most known for his expertise in the De La Hiva guard. One of his biggest matches was when he went up against Leandro Lowe in 2017 in the Black Belt Finals. He was able to use the De La Hiva guard to get a single leg and take Leandro down. And the two points scored on that takedown eventually won him the match. This was a very impressive feat especially for his first year as a Black Belt. So that's all I have. We'll see you next time on the Takedown Breakdown.